Hey folks, welcome back. We're going to attempt to get a few endings that we've never gotten today. All of his co-workers were gone. Let's what see. could it mean? I think there's actually Stanley one decided to go to the way. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Some Stanley way to looked, get out the he Whoops. couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, I never noticed the who farted mug before. That's that's lovely. Okay, I know there's an ending out the window. I will have to look into that. Because I can't seem to get it from here. Okay. Oh, please. Yes, Are you really I just am. doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Yep. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't I'm just give these merits that, away son. for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. Come on. I would say that's give the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to oh, say I'm still not sake. feeling the satisfaction. Oh of no, we can do this all day. Effort for a noble cause. Come on. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty clicks. We can do this all day, all night. You are gonna give me that achievement? No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to <laughs> oh, have meant something. Come on! It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want How to see some fucking hustle, valiant do you want? I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put twenty clicks into door number four one seven? Four seventeen. Okay, where is four one seven? Let's see, 420, 456. Four, ah, there it is. Oh, great. Now, go <laughs> click a few times on door 437. Which I think is back this way. I swear to God. Four, three, oh, there it is. Excellent! I think we're getting <laughs> oh somewhere. God's now sake. door Come four on. one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. Okay, it's gotta be back this way then. Four one seven. Four one six. There you are. Now back to door number four three seven. Yeah. Ha. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, oh, the copy machine. Where, 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 where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Which copy machine? Where? 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 Oh, there it is. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now go climb on employee 419's oh, nice. desk. Okay, alright, here we go. Um, oh! Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley, I like that. Alright, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. We've almost got it! Now the copy oh, machine, God. do that God. one again! Is there one over here? No, I gotta go back to the other one. Jesus. Finish it off, Stanley! Let me copy Five my butt, clicks please! On door four, three. Yes! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, oh my oh, god. You really it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how yeah, far I'm we've sure come you today. Are. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five <sighs> little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Well. Mm -hmm. All right, well, anyway. <sighs> that was fun. Okay, so. I'm going to attempt. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Let's he entered see. the door on his left. Um. Nope. 
This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire yeah, it. Sorta. Yeah, sorta. Yep, awesome. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. Yep. But eager oh, to sorry. get back Busy. to business, Can't stay. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm going... Let's see... Can't do anything with this door. I'm gonna try this way again. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not no, sure. Not I really. Mean, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your uh -huh. trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Mm -hmm. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Uh, no, I'm nope, not asking nope. for me. I'm nope. asking for her. I make my own decisions. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let can her get, back into in your here? life. She's been waiting. Nope, can't get in there. What about here? What happens if I go here? Nothing. All right. Try this way again. Okay, nowhere else to go except through this door. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, huh. to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. You know what? How about no? No, I'm just gonna let it ring. Let it ring. Let it ring. I'm not talking to you. Not talking to you, mannequin. Can I get out of here? Oh, nobody's home. Give up. Nope. Let me out of here. As Stanley oh, picked snap. up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life uh, reunited what? one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the I phone? I did! No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Typo. Well, let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. No, that's actually not another. what happens. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Yeah. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed Team to mean Team free will, motherfucker. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oh, shit. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And uh -huh. to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Mm, it's maybe. as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. But this or did the real you not world, so screw the severity you. of the situation. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. Um, I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate oh, you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful no. instructional video. Oh, fine. Choice. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what the, the fuck best is part this? of being a real person. Yay. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. Well, yeah. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. <laughs> he could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world <laughs> nations. <laughs> no. Or he could systematically set fire You're doing to it every wrong. orphan. Living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius no, you're of his house. Doing it wrong. Which choice would you make? Remember that uh, unlike here, neither? the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not <laughs> conform to rational logic. 
if you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the oh, person shit. to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A what? A practice, okay. My goodness, it's 4.30. I'm supposed to be having a... Excellent. Uh, okay. Making choices on a um, regular basis no, is dude, the best do part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Uh -huh. Do you make more than eight? Less? Uh, and finally, if middle. you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful yeah, and whether that's, you'll ever uh, make a significant contribution to the world, just remember... That in the vast infiniteness oh. of space, your well, thoughts that's, and that's problems great. are materially insignificant. Good and the know. feeling should subside. Awesome. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce oh, the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun yeah, to deteriorate as that. a result of narrative contradiction. Uh -huh. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed good. on good decision-making, <laughs> we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay. Oh. Oh. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't oh. have you jumping oh, off wow. the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through oh, the story. Totally. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal yeah, with I'm reality. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Why can't I go over there? Can I get back on there? Look, I wanna go... How do you get there? Okay, fine. I'll go back this way. Okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. <laughs> You really think so? Now remember, um. all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story uh -huh. first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. <laughs> Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, oh, hurry shit. back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. That's messed up. Um... Uh, oh, snap. Ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? It's Left here like cool. so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, <laughs> would know. it be worth it? Not my problem. To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving well, its impossibility sucks forever. To be you. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? No. To willingly destroy no. all my work? I don't know. Don't you What's do the it. Answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I No, I have to. I no. have to shut the game no. down. I have to. I have to. Hey, 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 hey. Oh shit. Um, hello? Uh oh. Oh, damn. Here. I'm still here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. 
It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Oh, sorry. What, did you think that would be funny? Yeah. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. <laughs> he understands that Obviously if I say he not. do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Dude, settle that down. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? Uh, well. You're a child. Uh, excuse me, oh. I'm a grown-ass woman. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, already you would have seen it. it. There was a hole under the facility. That too, few times. You would have destroyed it and been yep, victorious. Did it. it would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. Well, I tried so sorry. hard. Uh, um. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means what? choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of okay. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm just gonna... Okay, the door's just shut. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's right, office, right. hoping he might find an answer there. Room closet? Can I get in? Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. What? What the hell? This is different. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again what stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What? Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his <laughs> boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way okay, to find out. Well. Stanley had been trained never to speak <laughs> up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Hello? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. You, you sorry, can't hear a, a word. Problem? Can't you? You didn't mishear me, did you? Are Please you? speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, well, we can't get on with the story. This is I a am crucial the most expensive step. Boss. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Night Shark okay, One Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, I but you know tried. what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows here? for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. Dude. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. <laughs> why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself. You I coward. tried, bro. Oh, shit. Now what? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, um, he entered the door. What the fuck? Leg. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Oh, hey, it's Stanley. Okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need that's you to walk through the door. Okay, that's an ending. Are you listening to me? Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. Written and designed by Davy Redden and William Hugh, narrated by Kevin Wright. Do you understand Additional me? level design. Whatever Programming, you just modeling, correct, sound you design. Here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to music, take that step forward, Additional please. voice work. Choose. Additional do music. Anything. The elevator, Bossa Nova. This is more important than you can ever know. <laughs> I need this. Additional artwork, animation. Webmaster. So, Valve support team. Are you there? 
Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. <laughs> this game was made by Galactic sure Cafe. Is correct, that is Bless the their little hearts. Choice. That's all right. Oh. for you to decide what's the right Poor narrator. Thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Okay. Oh shit. Okie dokie. Well, that's all for today. Maybe next time we will try finding a different route that we haven't gone down yet. I uh, will see you then. Bye-bye.